Oh, here we go. Hang on. Upside it's upside down. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Would you call yourself a feminist? No, I wouldn't consider myself a feminist. Actually, yes, looking back on most of my life, I realise I am unconsciously a feminist. It's more for the privileged I, privilege, I think. What makes you think that? Because growing up, that's what I saw. Um, right. uh, white women, you know, talking about, you know, feminism and stuff, so I didn't feel included. You've influenced me a great deal. You've educated me a great deal on feminism. Maybe I wouldn't have thought of myself as equal to, to men until a certain time in my life. Okay. I don't know. I think I probably had other things to worry about in right. life. I didn't take that on. Right. Yeah. I definitely at university, I don't think I would have identified as a feminist. It's interesting because I always felt that even when you were about 12 or 13, you would come back with stuff that that was very much individual to you. Um, and you came back as I would come back when I came here from Poland and I was about nine and I was felt very foreign, you know, in England. Um, you, you, not the injustice, but, but the wrongs that, that you perceived around you. I consider myself a feminist. Really? Um, I think when I was starting off, like when I was going to uni and stuff like that, that was sort of around the time that I was embracing that idea. And then, like I joined the feminist society and all that stuff. I had a bad experience mm. <laughs> because I so tried what, to talk about. Was that? I tried to talk about racism <laughs> as well. <laughs> the head of the feminist society had a weird damage control meeting with me about how I needed to not rock the boat. And <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. So I had a really negative understanding of what feminism was, and kind of in a similar way right. to you, in the sense I felt, oh, maybe I'm not included in this. Mm. Then I realised, no, I am. It's just there are people within it who don't have the same approach to it as I do, mm. that's all. But we're all yeah. kind of striving for the similar, a similar thing. Mm. Well, you know, I, I do believe in equality and equal rights yeah. and um, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and, and fairness. Yeah. You know, I think women should be paid the same if they're doing the same job as, as a male. So, in, in that sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think mm. it's just, it sounds like something that's not as inclusive as it should be, but it is, mm. or it should be anyway. Um, <laughs> did you have family members who said they were feminists when you were young? No, I don't think they even understood the word. Yeah, yeah no, I can't imagine no, anyone no. <laughs> saying that No, at all. At, yeah. Not, not my mum no. or my cousins, no, 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 not at all. My mother and my grandmother would, were very much unconsciously feminist. Um, and, were, and were very independent and outspoken and wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't do what the men in their life would expect them to do. Yeah. Um, so I think they would be really tickled pink to know that that's how we see them now and that's their influence on us, but at the time, no. You, Nika and Kyla, in my head, Nika and Kyla, my sisters, um, were the sort of strong women that I aspired to be. And I think seeing people like that who, who sort of did things for themselves. They defended people they cared about and you saw that all the time. Yeah. Or things that they cared about. Right. And you and Daddy especially as well, you taught me to always sort of speak up for myself. My grandmother, your mother, died when I was You were nine. Nine. We were very close. But the but we, we continue to talk about her. Yes. And it's like she never quite went away because she's such a strong she was such a strong force Presence, that yes. I, mm. I think she's a real role model for me now. Mm. Like I sort of saw the women in my life as like what I wanted to aspire to. Right. Wanting to be like them, wanting to be like you, and then all the lessons that you all taught me sort of growing up as well. So was, I guess because we were surrounded by women. Yes. Uh, mainly yeah. growing up here. Yeah. So. We've always had a very close relationship and I um, always associate you with strength, I think. Most definitely. I associate so. you with strength. Yeah, but I, I think I get that from you, though. But you inspire me as well. Well, bearing in mind your profession, mm. what do you think of the Me Too movement? Firstly, I think it's really great that um, the covers are off and the door's wide open and you can smell the smell in the room now. Mm. It's important, very important, um, for women who've gone through whatever they've gone through mm -hmm. and um, in order for, to help other women to speak out about it and to, to, to stop it from happening. Mm -hmm. um, that's, 
those are my thoughts on it. Yeah. Really. I have numerous stories of my own experiences mm. and some of these things that the girls have had to go through and young men yeah, true. from yeah, other men. Exactly. Yeah. I had a very strong memory of um, when I was filming in Amsterdam and I was walking through the red light district with some other actors um, and I was about 18 years old and I wasn't wearing particularly sexual clothes mm. but I was just strolling across a bridge or a canal and a young man came towards me and got very close and got hold of my nipple and squeezed it and I thwacked him really hard and I think I think I had a wake-up moment there, oh, actually. Yeah. I mean, I, I have numerous stories like that, and they, they didn't, they n it never surprised me. It was mm. almost as if I was expecting it in some ways, but, and I just dealt with it. But mm. looking back on it now, I think, wow. Mm. Funny enough, I was um, sitting in the canteen at work with uh, a male friend of mine mm -hmm. and some other woman, and he was going, oh, why are they coming out with stuff now? You know, why didn't they speak up before? And blah, 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 and I was like, you don't understand, it's very difficult. Mm. Um, you know, some people didn't have the, the courage or maybe they didn't have the support um, mm. and they felt that if they said anything, nobody would believe them. Yeah. You know, as a man, you, you, you don't understand those issues. I am really shocked and horrified at Catherine Deneuve. Yeah. I mean, I'm really shocked mm. at that. And I, she, she, you know, she's talking from a position of, strength and wealth and mm -hmm. you know achievement and having always been this wonderful iconic sexual beautiful woman that, that and she enjoyed being that and, and not to understand that other women don't enjoy that they don't seek it i think people don't realize how common it is so they think it's a terrific thing that happens to some women sometimes like yeah. once in a blue moon it's like no yeah yeah i know a lot of women uh, I, I remember Speaking to a cousin of mine, and, and it happened to me as well, mm. um, one of our uncles, because when we came here from uh, the Caribbean, we lived as a community in, in a big house. And my auntie's husband, who was just a vile man, mm. um, one time he tried to touch me. Really? Oh, gosh, yeah. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, yeah. And that generation, because he, was, he appeared as such a, an upstanding person, um, I knew if I said anything to my mum, she would probably slap me and say yeah. he'd, he would never do something like that. Mm. So I kept it for years and didn't say anything. But I remember just kneeing him in his balls. <laughs> <laughs> we had a scene in a car wash and the, the camera was filming uh, from outside looking in so that as the car wash, you know, dispersed, there we are sitting in the car. But while the, while the brushes were going round and round and round, he actually put his hand right into my bra and, and gave my breast a squeeze. I told him to F off. And I just took his hand out, put it back on his lap, and we carried on filming. And, I, you know, it's brave. I feel those women who first came out with it are very brave. Yeah. And it's allowed other women to speak out as well. So that's a good thing. I went for the interview <laughs> in between movies, so I was quite you know, confident and whatever, and I entered this room packed with men, not a single woman there. Mm -hmm. And they were leering at me, leering. And they sat me on a chair in the middle of the room and the banter, you know, mm -hmm. and I thought, I don't like this. And I told them, I don't like this. And I stood up and I left. It was disgusting. <laughs> but that was, that was mini me doing my own mini movement. Mini movement, slash, hash, <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Up yours, boys. I'm going home.